All right, the next color and last color before I gotta go clean out all my color cups is light ghost gray for the bottom. That's to bring in all the oil work I did and the towel work together. And I don't anticipate any problem with this. This is pretty, pretty straightforward. Okay, that's all good, no problem with that, and uh, now I gotta go clean out like four color cups, so I got three more colors to go. Alright, I'm real happy with this, and uh, so now we're gonna change gears, we're gonna move to the top. And I'm going to put on a filter, and um, this is nothing more than thinned out white paint. And the idea is to kind of mute the contrast of some of the stenciling and also the um, uh, the off-color panels that I've done. Uh, it shouldn't be really too difficult. Just a matter of uh, just practicing uh, with a little bit, adjusting, you know, from what I see spray pattern wise. Again, just thin white. bit goes a long ways here. It's a pretty basic technique, but uh, very effective. It doesn't matter if you got every spray, this makes it look that much better. Okay, it is, um, let's see, August the 2nd, I guess, and the IPMS National Convention starts tomorrow, and I'm not going to be up there tomorrow, but I'm going to be up there Thursday, and so we're almost done here. We're getting ready for final assembly, and uh, I'm just taking a little tour around the studio here. Here's the tank, all ready to go, with the exception of a couple little touch-up paint areas, okay, and... Oh, of course, putting on some oxygen feed lines and fuel tank lines and what have you. And here is the shuttle. And I'm not quite done with this, but I'm very close. So that's about ready to, to go on. And um, let's see here. Oh, that's the kind of stuff my wife does, okay? Decorative artist. She does trays and 
obviously snowmen, Christmas ornaments, plates, that kind of stuff. Uh, and then over here, here's all my decals and reference materials that I've been throwing around the room as I've been working on this stuff. And here are my SRBs sitting here. It's all ready to go. So let's go ahead and um, let's go ahead and put it all together. Here is Spatial Atlantis finished in all its glory after four years of off and on work. And um, I'm real happy with it. I took it up to Columbia for the Nationals and uh, it placed second up there. And uh, what beat it out was a very deserving modified V2 rocket. The gentleman who built that did a very nice job. So no issue there with, with losing out. So there's a second place award right there. One of the things I was particularly happy with was the way the thermal blankets turned out. And uh, that took a lot of work, but it was worth it. So in case you're wondering, this, uh, this wooden base and uh, plexiglass cover came from an outfit called Grandpa's Cabinets. That's in Middleburg, Florida. That's uh, very close to where I live in Jacksonville. So it's easy to go over there and pick it up. Um, so if you're interested in a cabinet, then I would recommend you look him up. He's online. Uh, give, him a, give him a shout and he can do you, do you a good uh, cabinet for, for a reasonable price. They're not cheap, but they're worth it. And speaking of cabinets, here is the one for the next project, which I'll be introducing shortly. Now, if you recall, this whole video series was called Shuttle Wars, Monogram vs. Ravel. So we've got the Ravel one still sitting up here, um, about uh, half done, and we've got the Monogram one finished. So I'm going to take a little break, you know, for maybe like a year and uh, sit back and do some other projects. And then um, I'll pick back up and finish the Ravel shuttle. And then uh, we'll do a little comparison uh, at, at the end there. So I hope you've enjoyed this. Uh, it's been a long road. Thanks for sticking with it the whole time. And uh, we'll see you next time.